Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to make this add links to queue method. So let me just copy the name of this method. Let me just go here and let me just type in add static method. So the reason why I have created a separate method for this instead of just passing in the data and adding it uh, adding those links to the queue is that because you need to actually make sure that the link which you're adding is not already present in the queue or it's not actually crawled. So only if those conditions are satisfied, you actually need to add that link to the queue. And also you actually need to make sure if that particular link belongs to the domain name which you have specified. So that's going to be the significance of creating the add links to queue method. So let's go ahead and create that. So dev add links to queue. This is actually going to accept only the links. And the first thing which we do is that we loop through all the links in the URL. So we type for URL in links. So for these URLs, we make certain checks. So the first check is that we need to make sure that if URL is not present in the queue right now. So if URL in spider dot queue, or you also need to make sure that the URL is not present in crawl. So we type URL in spider dot crawl so if this is actually present then what we do is that we continue with the rest of the code that means we don't do anything instead we move to the next line of code and also what we need to do is that we also need to check if the url does not belong to the domain name so we type if spider dot domain name if this thing and actually you don't need to mention this thing in brackets so if spider or domain name if this is not equal to the domain name of url so in order to get the domain name of url you type in get uh, domain name over here so this is also a function which we have not created right now but we are going to do that soon so if the url is not equal to the spiders url then also we want to continue that is we don't want to do anything and we want to execute the next line of code so the only thing when you want to actually add the link to the queue is that when these two conditions are false so we have already added continue statements over here so let's go ahead and finally add the urls to the queue so we type spider dot queue dot add and basically let's pass in the url over here so that the url is successfully added Okay, so now once this thing is done, that is once the URL is added, what you need to do is that you also need to make updates to the files. So if you remember, I already told you guys that whenever you are working with files, that operation actually becomes slow and that's why we will be working with the sets. But once the sets are used and once the program is done, what you need to make sure that you also make relevant changes to the files so that the files also remain updated. So we type at static method and we are going to create the method which was left which is nothing but the update files method. So we go right here and we type def update underscore files. And what we do here is that we basically use the, the set to file method which we have created. So we type set to file and you first need to pass in the queue. So this is going to be spider dot queue. And the next thing which you need to pass in is you actually need to pass in the file. So that is going to be spider dot Q file. And we do the same thing with the next thing, which is nothing but the crawl. So we type set to file spider that should be spider dot crawl comma spider dot crawl file. So once this thing is done, we are pretty much done with this function as well. So I hope you guys understood the significance of these two functions. So this add links to queue function is basically a function uh, to check if the URL is not present in the queue as well as the URL is not present in the crawled. Also, we need to make sure that the URL of the domain name is same as the domain name which we have passed right over here. And please do remember that we are yet to create this function which basically gets the domain name of a particular URL. So we are going to develop that function as well. And finally, we have made this update file functions which is eventually going to make the updates to the file from the two sets which is nothing but queue and crawl. So thank you very much for watching and in the next lecture we will basically go ahead 
and create the remaining functions which is nothing but the get domain name function so that we could actually get the domain name of that particular url so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time thank you